Now, after becoming the UK Home Secretary, James Cleverly has made his stance and his government stance on Hamas is clear. He's now, just about now, taken to social media to tweet out, and I quote, As Home Secretary of the United Kingdom, I can confirm that Hamas is a terror group. Remember, on the 7th of October, when Hamas carried out the attack on unsuspecting music festival goers, the world woke up to a terror attack, clearly condemning it as one. Now we have James Cleverly, the newly appointed UK Home Secretary also coming out and making that stance very, very clear that there are no two doubts about Hamas being a terror group. We've seen there has been a rejig as far as uh, the UK Cabinet is concerned. Uh, Brevara Suwaman, Suwala Brevaman, I beg your pardon, was uh, removed from her post yesterday. James Cleverly is the new UK Home Secretary. 24 hours after he's taken over in this new position, he has now come out and made his and his government stance about Hamas extremely clear. Sanjay Suri, my colleague, now joining us, getting us more details. Now, Sanjay, we've seen the kind of stance as far as the first terror attack was concerned on the 7th of October. UK, along with everyone else, came out and made it very clear that this is not a fight between Palestine and Israel. This is about a terror group called Hamas unleashing terror on innocent civilians. And that's exactly what Cleverly has reiterated now. No, that is a message that has been reiterated and repeated, as you point out. But this has been done with an eye on domestic issues, given the exit of Braverman. Braverman represented a very strong view that uh, was very critical of support for Palestinians that perhaps in some way overlapped with even an indirect or even a hint of support or at least a refusal to oppose Hamas. And to that extent, that the new Home Secretary wanted to make very clear that his policy, to that extent, has not diverted from that of Suala Brahman. Right. That the government still is emphatic in its um, opposition to Hamas and that it is not going to countenance any support for terrorism, whether it is expressed through political means or sure. through uh, means of the kind of marches we've seen in London. Right, that's the clear message coming out. Sanjay, thank you so much for getting us the latest. With that, uh, it's a wrap from my side here on this edition.